This video is brought to you by Skillshare. You have to say, like, what, what is the future that you want? A future where you look around at a neighborhood and the roofs are all gathering energy. They're all doing something useful. The Tesla roof consists of glass tiles with embedded solar cells. It's a promise of a new green way of generating power. But it doesn't come without problems and setbacks. In this video, I'm going to show a 424-day obstacle course of costs and delays. We had to resubmit due to a rejection. How many times did you resubmit? So during the tear off your solar roof, we did determine uh, some additional work that's required. So you're, you're asking for an additional 3,000? Do you think you'll be done with the tiles today? Definitely not today. My projected time for deadline is going to be closer to Tuesday, probably. To the finish line of reaching clean energy independence. Okay, today is October 28th. I'm going to document the whole process and you're going to be able to see how my roof that's probably at least 40 years old is going to turn into a living, breathing organism that's going to collect energy for my house, for my car, and it's going to reduce emission. So I'm going to place the order now. So on energy and down here, solar roof. They're estimating it to be 33,000. I think it's gonna be higher based on the fact that I wanna have these batteries, at least two, because another problem is that we're facing in California now and it seems to be growing. We have wildfire problems and one way to combat this issue is rolling blackouts. So they're gonna turn off for days at end electricity to certain areas of the state and I can take days off at the whim of an electric company. So I wanna be self-sufficient. All right, obviously make sure that you read all these agreements here and that you're okay with it. I studied them yesterday, even though it's so brand new that I expect fully that there's going to be problems, delays, maybe even faulty installation that needs correction. But I do trust the whole company. So with that in mind, I'm gonna go ahead and place the order. And this is pretty exciting because I can't can tell you how long I've been waiting to go solar on my my house. Here we go. Hopefully this works. All right. Okay, I got an order number here. So they say home assessment. We're assessing your roof to prepare for installation. All right, I just did it. Yay me. Yay you for following along. And if you're really interested in this process, if you're considering to go solar roof, this is the channel that's going to show you what that looks like. Even if you're not, maybe you're just open-minded. You just want to see what happens. Maybe you want to see it fail. Um, this is the channel to check out and see if you're right. Today is December 10th on a Tuesday. I just got the email yesterday from Tesla that my quote for the solar roof is ready and I can now pay for it. 65,000. So first of all, this is actually my second quote and you see actually there are two quotes here. This is the original quote for a 9.24 kilowatt system and this is a smaller scale system. And the reason why I went back and forth with them is simply because they included my garage in the initial quote. I'm actually planning to remodel my garage in the next couple of years. This is the original design for the $65,000 system. This is my house. This is my garage right here. In this part I'm planning to remodel. So I asked them to actually take that part out. And I gotta say, so far communication has been really great. How we could potentially yeah, handle the, the garage, that'd be great. Yeah, let me reach out to the design team now and try to get that response to you uh, before I leave or at least have the design updated um, so you can sign off tomorrow. Yeah, so that we have some options. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a new system. That one came in much smaller, 6.2 kilowatts. Of course, I'm not just gonna say yes. I'm gonna obviously compare to other regular panels in California. So this is one of the quotes. I got probably close to 10 quotes. It has the same warranty, excellent, 
quality. Here you can see where they put the panels up on the house. So they actually put it on that one side that was inactive in the schematics. So they actually put panels up on this side. These portions are not being utilized by Tesla at all. And these are actually really good sites in terms of the sun exposure. If you see north is over here, the south side is over here, especially in the morning, you get great sun over here and here. I would consider this obviously to be the best part. So these are all things to consider. And then look at the price of this system. It comes in at $16,900 compared to what my quote is from Tesla. Bottom line, 50,000. The other one was what, 16.5? Much more expensive. But is it really? Here's what I'm getting extra. I'm getting a new roof with an amazing surface. So these glass tiles are obviously very doable. If you've seen any of the demonstrations, you can tell that this is way more resistant than even like a metal roof or a clay tile. If I wasn't going to get this roof, the alternative for me would really be a metal roof. I wouldn't do asphalt shingles, which is the cheapest way of doing things. We try to collect the rainwater, so I don't like the idea of an asphalt roof. I looked around a little bit to see what are good quotes for metal roofs, and it turns out that I should probably consider $16,000 to redo my roof metal. So the other quote, sixteen nine. So let's say it's 17000 and then another 16,000 on top of that to get a new roof because my roof is old. As you know, by now I have a 30, 40 year old roof, double layer. This is bad as is. Then the other thing that's included are two power walls and these are the batteries. So that component alone is 15.5. So this is the traditional solar system metal roof. And then let's say I would still buy the batteries from Tesla and they would actually be more expensive because I do get a discount. So they would actually cost 2,600. So it would be 17, 18, one would be if I go and not use Tesla for my main panels, 17 plus 16 plus 18.1. That system comes in at 51.1 regular. So if you compare this price with the Tesla price, which is 15.8, we're right there. So even though this is a much higher price, I'm actually getting exactly what I'm paying for. By the way, there's a tax credit of $9,500 right now. It might be a little more, a little less. So anyway, so my net cost of the system will be 41,000, which gives me a completely new roof, two power walls and solar. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to spend that kind of money on going solar. So here we go. I pressed accept. Okay, that's quite uneventful. Once again, I'm really excited about taking these steps and documenting the process along the way. I hope you enjoy it too. And if you are considering to get a solar roof or buying a Tesla, feel free to use my referral code. It gives you some extra benefits. I think you get free supercharging for at least a thousand miles. And I'm sure if you get a solar roof, there's some incentive there too. Hey Seth, this is Aaron with Tesla. Our scheduling team just tried to reach out to you and left you a message. Can I go ahead and transfer you? Okay, thank you. Hi. Thank this you. is Jessica. So our next available appointment would be January 6th with an arrival window of 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Yeah, good. And that's, what is that? Just an inspection or an install? What's happening that day? Uh, it's more of an inspection. Do you prefer not to show your face? Or you no, don't it's care? all good. I don't mind. Okay, cool. This way? Yeah. The site server will see your roof attic, um, the electrical panel, and the AC unit. Great. And they'll take measurements, pictures, send it over to the design and engineering team. And then um, from there, they basically create the plan. It's pretty tight up there, huh? A little bit, yeah. 
So this is the third step in this ongoing saga of getting a solar tile roof installed. So far, everything that they've quoted me and all the plans have been done based on Google Maps and what they see in terms of a satellite image of my house. So now they actually send a guy over to take a look at the roof. Do you have any electrical panels inside your house? No, they are outside. Outside? Okay, yeah. so I'm pretty much done with the inside then. Okay, cool. This is main panel. Do you have any sub panels or? Yeah, we have one over there in the garage. That's pretty much it, right? That's it. Are you thinking in getting uh, power walls? Yeah, two of those. Do you have a preference where we like them to be installed? This could be a good wall because it's. Does the power wall need to be in the shade? Uh, not necessarily. Okay. Do I need to have access to them all the time? Yes, or? you do. Uh, they do have a switch button yeah. that just in any emergency you need to be able to reach it. Okay. So that's why we cannot put it like in attics or up on the roof. Maybe I can show you the two roof sites that I'd love to see if we can include. All right, yeah. And the one thing that I kept pressing, and it's one of the reasons why there were some delays, that I wanted to have more solar. The existing system as is without the garage is really only a 6.2 kilowatt system which in California is maybe not as bad because we have constant sunlight, so it will produce a lot of energy, but I'd like it to get as much as possible. So I keep asking them to look at the designs and see if we can squeeze in a couple more solar tiles. Really, in terms of the sun, this side of the roof is really good. And right now it's not included because it seems to be too small. Yeah. And the other one, was this side here. This one right here. I, I'll put that in my notes too, that that one is not active. Yeah. Certain parts of that roof are actually inactive. They still will have glass tiles, but they are basically dummies without any active solar cells. All right, once I'm up there, I will take a look. Okay. And, uh, you know, the designers will see it as well, and they'll, they'll see if uh, it's something that we can work on in there, yeah. or if uh, we just gonna put glass in there. Yeah. Right now it's just uh, whatever is on the roof. Uh, yeah. What we call obstructions, any pipes, any bends that you may have. Yeah. Just for the designers to know where some of the cutouts are gonna be on the roof. That way we can you know, plan ahead and have everything ready for uh, any pipe that is on the roof. Apart from that, I see that you have like two layers of shingle. That doesn't really matter because we're gonna take everything out. Yeah. If it was solar panels, that will gonna be a, an issue yeah. just because you know we'll have to add more weight to it. The next step really is to get the city involved. Once the permit is issued, Tesla can go ahead and schedule the install. So this is just uh, the glass, that's how it looks. Wow. This is version three, right? This is version two. The Ver one you're getting is version three, yeah. yes. But well, with awesome. version three, it's, it's, it's faster yeah. than version two. It also depends on you know how big the house is. This one is just not that big. I don't see it as really complicated as the other ones we've done. Cool, well, thank you so much for your time. You got it. All right, today is March 15th. That's a Sunday. Spoiler alert, the roof is still not up yet, but I have some good news. I had a Tesla tech here who was scouting my roof to figure out what the specifics are for the install. All that's good. They handed in the permit and the permit got denied. And the reason being is that the system was actually not big enough to sustain two batteries, which is good because now they were motivated to increase the size. Now they're saying it's because they've innovated on the install and they've been able to figure out how to squeeze more panels into existing roof lines. I don't care, I'm just glad that the system is now bigger. So I'm gonna show you how the system has improved. And then also some really good news, the price has come down and I'm gonna show you how. So let's compare the old system with the new system. This was the layout of the old system. What Aaron told me from Tesla, they figured out ways to create more panels here, here, and here. I still was insisting on putting panels here and here and here, and he explained to me that that doesn't work, and he actually uh, conferred with the designer. I wrote this down here somewhere. So from that conversation, I gathered that you need to have at least 17 panels, active panels that are connected, that need to be at the same pitch, and also the same angle towards the sun, not in this direction, but this direction as well. I don't know what that's called. 
the roof lines have to have all those same angles to be able to count it as one circuit. So with this, we can put in 17 in there and this has a different angle. We can put 17 in there, but specifically also because there are vents here and they can't get too close to the vents. Wherever there's a vent, they have to stop there, but apparently now they can get a little closer to it. So let's look at the two different systems. If we look at the old purchase agreement, we had a system that is 6.2 kilowatts and it came down to 50,000. So this is the new purchase agreement. Old right here, new right here. The final price comes down to 46,549. So what has changed? So less dummies, but more active tiles. So that price went down, that price went up. Power walls, same price, same price, same. Pre-construction, I see. So the pre-construction has been taken out. So I hope that means that they're actually going to cover that now. And it's maybe due to the inspection, they now realize there's not a lot to be done. But it also has the potential to come down even further. This took me a little bit of work to figure this one out. It's called the, the self-generating incentive program. And I got that done and we actually handed in the application. There's no guarantee that that application will go through. The calculated incentive that you're eligible for in California with some stipulations, but if you're a resident in California, you can get an additional 5,800 off your system. So we are 46.5. Minus the tax credit, which is 9,500. So that's 37 minus 58. It's going to be 3,150 for the entire system, including the new roof, the solar tiles and the battery. We handed in the permit again to the city. I actually had to sign a net metering contract. This is like a contract between me and the city that whatever solar energy that I produce in access, I can feed back into the system and they'll give me a credit against any energy that I might be using in the future from them. That's the status right now. Who knows what's gonna happen in the next couple of months. We might all be stuck inside the house. Our kids just uh, stop going to school and it's gonna be quite an experience. Heightened states of emergency across the nation as a number of coronavirus cases soars above 3,000. Breaking news tonight, the coronavirus forcing millions more Americans into virtual lockdown. The World Health Organization officially declared the crisis a pandemic. The head of that agency saying they are deeply concerned by the alarming levels of spread. How many times did you resubmit? Just once? We resubmitted on the 27th. Then we had a is... letter rejection 14 days ago. Okay. On August 14th. Is there any more information about what the problem is? Why they keep rejecting it? Yeah, let me get your permit coordinator and your advisor involved. There was a pandemic, everything froze up, everything shut down. Before I get into where we are right now, I just wanted to point out, I'm so grateful for this channel because one of you saw my video and said, one thing to consider is to move one of the bathroom vents if that helps to open up usable roof area. It's not too difficult or expensive to put a horizontal PVC section in the attic to move a roof vent by six feet or so. This is actually in regards to a section of the roof. We didn't have active solar on it. And it's, it's, we're talking about this section right here. So I shut this back to Aaron, who was still my contact at Tesla at the time, and just said, hey, I hope you're doing well. Someone in construction pointed out to me, I said someone in construction because uh, I wasn't gonna tell him about the YouTube channel that the vents can easily be moved. I included a sketch of what that could potentially look like. This is the section we're talking about. So I sent that to Aaron. I love Aaron. He responded, hello Sven, we got it to work. We just asked those vents are relocated before we start the installation of the roof. And the new plan now, increase the system to 
7.8. So I don't remember what it was initially, but I think we were in the low six and then we did one power upgrade and now we're doing another one. By now we're at 7.8 kilowatts. I had the vents move. I actually got my previous construction team that I did some remodeling work with. Move those vents, it took them a couple of hours and done. Then we were still waiting on the permits. Apparently, it is really hard to get these tiles approved. They have to figure all this stuff out. And there's also some resistance. Ultimately, this is a major disruption to the industry. At some point, I just wanted to find out what's going on. I know there's a regulation in California that these cities have to respond to a permit request within 60 days. And we were months over, and I'm sure they were going to blame it on the pandemic. So I wanted to have some data and find out what went on. So this is what Aaron says. He says that permits have been rejected three times, dating back to February 6th. And then in March, if you remember, this is when the country shut down. No process for online was available because of COVID. That took until 7.27 that they were able to resubmit and they got rejected pretty much right away, 8.14. So you can see permit rejected note, extended plan set inquiry, battery size exceeds battery confirmation. I think they've solved that. They resubmitted in middle of August. Missed AHU requirement changed from 2016 to 2019 on the cover page. Didn't put one of the new cover sheets on your TPS reports? Oh, yeah. And Aaron said, we're making these and then we're going to resubmit. I said, this is really helpful. Thank you. Just to confirm, a revised application has already been submitted by Tesla and is now back with the city. We're currently waiting for their response. Is that correct? This communication happened end of August. That's where we were. And then recently I got a text. Hey Sven, exciting update. We've received your permits. This brings us one step closer to installation day. Please reply if you have any questions. Of course I replied. I said, fantastic. When do we start the install? Excited to get going. Thanks for the update. I ended up getting an installation date and that is going to be, wait for it, Monday, November 2nd, 6.45 AM. This is where we're at. We'll finally get the permit. We got an installation date. We got a bigger system and I'm praying, I'm praying that they're going to show up on November 2nd. I'm hopeful we're gonna get this done this year. We have to because the tax credit is a steep decline. We don't want that. Uh, Sean calling from Tesla to schedule the tear-off and subsequent install of the solar roof requested. So today is November 4th. Today is the day when we start the install. Day one is all about tearing off the roof. Today is the day where it's all gonna come together. As I said, I'm gonna be documenting this process all the way. Before we get into the install, I'd like to take a brief moment to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. It's an online learning community where millions come together to take the next step in their creative or career journey. It offers thousands of classes on topics including illustration design, photography, video, freelancing and more. I'd like to recommend two classes. First, fitting with this video, you should check out How to Buy Solar from Alex Schoolman. This class is great to give you a full step-by-step -step overview on deciding, finding and purchasing your own solar system. At the end of this course, you know exactly how solar works, but also all the important points that you need to know when buying and just getting it installed in general too. But I also use Skillshare to get into another hot topic, cryptocurrencies, specifically Bitcoin. In the past year or so, buying or paying with crypto has become as easy as ordering food for delivery. But who really understands blockchain? Because it has a tremendous opportunity to impact numerous aspects of our world today. 
I recommend a course by Meltem Demoris, where she demystifies cryptocurrencies from Bitcoin and beyond. It's an incredibly valuable primer for everyone to get a basic understanding and possibly tip your toe into the unknown yet exciting waters. And that's what's great about Skillshare. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes. It's less than 10 bucks a month with an annual subscription. So take advantage now. The first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership. Now back to the teardown process for my solar tower roof. So far I had two visits of the Tesla foreman and then also the subcontractor to just look at the roof and, and see how they're going to do this. Step number two probably putting the plywood there. Yeah. yeah, so the actual front portion of the house it was one by six boards, okay? The Tesla roof, you can't have that. It has to be sheets of plywood because there's a gap at every six inches, right? It's going to start moving and stuff. Yeah. So that's why we sheeted the front side. The back side already had the plywood so you're great. Oh, there. I see. That's okay. awesome. All right, day two. So plywood in the front, in the back portion. That's an addition that was done in the 70s. No need to put it on there. Then the next step, he says, is going to be to put the underlayment or like this film. It's a peeling stick. Great stuff. It's as soon as the nail goes inside, it's like a tar, um, and it basically it'll bond and it'll lock itself yeah. together. That is actually the most important part to keep the roof from leaking. It turns out that we're actually gonna have rain over the weekend. Today is Thursday. Okay. These things were not were not able to be found in a pre-installation review. You know, these things can only be found once you start turning off the roof. What we found was that ten squares of roof decking or a thousand square feet of roof decking needs an overlay. That's the plywood that they put on today. That's correct. That's the ply plywood decking. That's uh, twenty-five hundred dollars for the the decking overlay. Oh wow. We need to replace forty feet of linear feet of fascia that was damaged or had dry rot. And then 50 linear feet uh, shiplap need to be replaced as well. That was $500. So you're, you're asking for an additional 3000 The 40 feet of fascia was $800. The 50 feet of shiplap was $500. So it's $3,800 of uh, additional work. 3800 I mean, that seems high. That's correct. A piece of plywood costs, what, 30 bucks? No, actually, the cost of plywood has gone up because of the pandemic. Uh, it's it d doubled in price. So um, that's what all of our subs are, are quoting us. Two, $250 a square is, is, is average for California. I just have to pay that? There's there's no option to bring that price down? N no, I mean, we've... Uh, so this, is, of course, this is Tesla. We don't use the cheapest contractors out there. We, we want you to have a really high-quality installation, so... Our subs are all bedded, and they're, you know, they do A plus quality work. They're very professional. Yeah. Um, so that's where that pricing comes from. Like, you, you know, you, you get you get what you pay for, and we probably don't use the cheapest contractors, but that's because we are Tesla. A little bit of a bummer, obviously, because I feel like that should have been in the initial quote because they had a guy inspecting the roof and he actually went into the attic so he has seen the 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 slats and he actually told me i'm pretty sure he told me that they're probably going to install plywood so it should have been part of the uh the quote okay it's friday this is day three and we're midday we haven't even had lunch yet and they're basically done with phase one, which is tear down, plywood, and underlayment. The roof is dried in now, so rain will come tomorrow, apparently, and we should be all good. It was super smooth, super clean now. They cleaned up everything. They got it done in time, and it's a clean site that they left. I don't know if these are the panels already. 
I'm pretty sure they are. This feels, this feels like this could be the glass tile. And the foreman here from the sub crew told me that Tesla will start on Monday. That'll be uh, week two. Then they can get it done within that week or it can take two weeks. Or it could take a month, he said, from his experience. So we'll see what happens. Oh, there's one more thing. Okay, week two, this is November 10th. It's actually a Tuesday. We only started today because there was rain over the weekend and the Tesla crew had to wait it out. But they got here and it's a lot of people. And right now they're on the roof. They secured the safety lines and what's happening today is they're installing the power walls. Try to keep them nice and square and neat. Nice. This is here is your main panel. It's showing the solar disconnect right. and the meter. That's going on the side of the wall right here. They're showing our automatic relay and our load center going by the main panel here. Okay. And then over by those two windows are the two power walls, three DC disconnects, the inverter, and the AC disconnects for each individual power wall. So that's gonna be over on that wall. How long do you think is your part gonna take? So it'll be today. Probably be here till about anywhere between three and six o'clock. Okay. And then it's a totally different crew that does the tile laying? Yeah. Yeah, that's the solar roof crew. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. All right, so we'll get started. So far, what they've done is installed the flashing on all the corners and some metal rails on the roof. They're waiting on the tiles. I spoke to one of the crew members and he said that the tiles were supposed to arrive yesterday in the afternoon and they haven't shown up yet. So hopefully that's not going to set them back. The other crew, they're right now installing the power wall and installing a, a sub panel for the electric. This is a 200 amp rated sub panel, yeah. but it's still interconnected with the utility company. And then what's this? That's the automatic relay switch. So that'll separate you from the utility company in the event of a blackout. It also houses the pretty much the operating system for the power walls. Cool. Okay, today is day five of the install. It's a Wednesday. Crew is there. They're waiting, still on the tile. Maybe a little bit of a concern that it's gonna take longer. They're still busy working on all the flashing and ridges. They installed some metal rails of sorts. The other crew that was installing the power wall, it's all done. Yesterday I could see in my app that the batteries already showed up. They're right now not connected to the grid or they're not charging, but they're online, I can see them. Well, I'm gonna have to go and work some. Hopefully by the time I come back, we'll see some tiles.
doing? Good, how are you? Do you think you'll be done with the trials today? Definitely not today. My projected time for the deadline is going to be closer to Tuesday, probably. The tiles moved pretty fast. You know, we started laying them down after lunch when the delivery arrived yesterday. So we only worked for about three hours. So it'll start going fast if you have extra guys on site. But I think uh, when it comes down to detail work, like the metal custom fabrication, that's what tends to take a little extra long. So. Yeah. Now I know what those rails, those metal rails are for. That's to store the tiles before they install them. Really smart way because that means less storage space required on the ground and then also at night it's safe because nobody can steal it. The crew's been super nice. They're all parking on the street here. And now the street is really busy. And yesterday we had trash day, so the trash, some of the cans weren't picked up because the cars were parked too close to the trash cans. They noticed that and then they, they made sure that all those trash cans got emptied. So they took the trash so that all the neighbors are not upset because there's construction here. How are you liking it so far? I love it. I was a little worried about all these boxes, but this is some beauty to it. Yeah. It's like, I love that it says Tesla on that box. Yeah, that's our, our new gateway too. Before the relay switch looked similar to the one beneath it, yeah. which is a load center. But yeah, they just updated it. And ways. what does this do? So it pretty much communicates with the app. So anytime there's a sh oh, shutdown, okay. it's gonna, it's pretty much like the brain for the power wall. Yeah. Um, it'll automatically trigger the batteries and then start that. And you wouldn't even know the power shut off. That's awesome. Yeah, I already saw it on the app show up. So. Cool. Oh yeah, by the end of today, you should be able to, to turn it on and see. I mean, obviously you don't want to turn it on until you have permission to operate, but uh, you know, it should be up and running. So you're saying the panels are already feeding through the system? It's not feeding, so you need a communication from the inverter and before it produces. Okay. So right now it's kind of just like laying dormant. Okay. But yeah, we should get uh, more, most of the electrical done today from on the ground. Cool. <laughs> Today is Friday, November the 13th. Looking really good. There's still a bunch of roof sites that need some tiles on there. Today's the last day of the week and then I'll come back on Monday too. Hopefully just a couple more days. If you are considering to get a solar roof, feel free to use my referral code. It gives you some extra benefits. Or if you're thinking about getting a Tesla car, it will also get you 1,000 free supercharging miles. Plus, I think we both are eligible for drawing of a Roadster, a Model Y, and some power walls. Day eight of the construction. We are in week three, but it's a total of eight days that they've been working on this project. I think today's the day where they're gonna finish with the actual tiling. They're pretty far along, but after that, I'm sure it's gonna take a lot longer to do the fine detail work, all the rims and all the edges, and not sure how easy it is to do all the electrical work, whether it's like once you stack the tiles and put them all together, you just need to take those cables and just plug them in. But I'm hopeful that by the end of this week, the whole system should be up and running. And then it's just really a matter of waiting for the city to come by and inspect the system and approve it. And then hopefully we can switch it on. Alright, today is day nine. 
I'm really excited actually about this piece right here. And this is solid. That's about a quarter inch and it does feel a lot like glass. The underside has like a rubber coating on it and then you have these metal connectors. This is what goes on the roof and I think they screw it in here on those holes and then this will connect here and once it connects it basically it's really hard to come off. And then this one here, these go on the sides and then they connect to the next tile like this. There might be a little space in here, probably for heat expansion as well. This piece locks into here and then the tile has this rubber coating on it so it creates a seal and then the water runs between the two tiles down here to the next row. Engineering wise, this is pretty awesome. It's beautiful. started back in uh, January. Since then, I think we've done over 10 to 15 jobs. I think, oh, wow. Somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. At first, it started off kind of slow. The installations used to take maybe about two or three weeks. Yeah. But they've gotten progressively faster. Yeah. The thing about with this one is it took a lot longer because there was a lot of new hires and it was a lot of training, a yes. lot of looking back at their mistakes, how to fix what they had to do. But all in all, I mean, it came out pretty good. That's what I, I only learned that yesterday. Goose said that you actually, there are basically two crews here, one that's done it and one that's kind of watching. Yeah. At first we, we were all like three different crews, yeah. but they kind of just blended us all together. Okay, Yeah. cool. Today is November 19th. This is the final day of the install. Crew was finishing up the last things. They still have some equipment that needs to be picked up and some supplies. But basically it's all done and it's looking amazing. I mean, I was expecting it to be amazing, but now seeing it, looking at it with the sunlight, I'm really, really happy with the look. You can't really tell the solar tiles from the street at all. If you fly over the drone and you go straight down, yes, you can see a little bit, but only if you really look closely and you know what you're looking for. The work, I think they did an amazing job with the, just the crafting of putting it together, making sure that all the finishes is all looking really slick. It ended up being 10 days with everything. That includes the teardown, the sub crew, and then obviously the main crew doing their jobs. So they had seven days, just the Tesla crew. We still have to wait for the inspection. So hopefully tomorrow or the next few days, an inspector from the city as well as a representative from Tesla will come by. We have our own guys from our, our warehouse that uh, assist with the, the inspection. Make sure everything's up to code. Oh, the I city see. will usually provide the meter. Yeah. And once the city signs off on it, then it's still going to be like two or three weeks before the utility company is going to make the switch and allow us to connect to the grid. Think about me one more time before you go. I've been feeling this way for far too long And now you're gone Hi, this is Cesar calling from Tesla. We have a city inspection today at around 8 p.m. I actually need to head to your home now to get everything set up for the city inspection. It should be in the area within the next 10 to 15 minutes. Thank you. The inspector actually didn't show up on that day, but eventually, a few weeks later, we did get the inspection approved. And with a little bit of back and forth, we also got the utility company to finally commission the system. And it's been up and running since December 23rd. Now in this video, I wanna share with you the first few days of data that came in and how the system's holding up. All of this in this video. So the first day it was full rain, which obviously sucked. 
the good news is it actually cleaned the tiles. And I spoke to one of the Tesla reps and he said the best way to clean the tiles is actually just with water. Don't use any chemicals. All right, as you can see right now, it is charging. This is the second day that the system is online. And I played with all the different functions. The solar is up. It's about 9.49 in the morning. This is our first day of sunshine in winter. And it's creating 1.3 kilowatts. So I anticipate that's going to go up throughout the day. And I don't know how high it's going to get. We're going to take a look at the sun in a second. During the winter, the sun is lower, obviously. It's not hitting the solar tiles in the optimized way. But it's using that energy right now to charge the battery. Once it's done charging the battery, then it should start self-powering our home. Oh, look, it just went up to 2 kilowatts, 2.1. We're off grid. You just saw that. We are now completely self-powered. It's still feeding a little bit to the battery, but the rest goes into the home. So I anticipate it's going to keep charging the battery up to 100%. Once it's done doing that, it's going to switch over and feed into the grid, whatever is additional charging. Again, this is a winter morning, not even 10 a.m., and we can fully power our home plus feed our battery. That's awesome. Let's take a look at the sun outside. So, sun is way in the east. It's behind those trees. It's gonna come all the way up here. This is the south. And I can't wait to see what the performance of the system is at that point. And then once we're in the summer, then it actually goes almost perpendicular to the house. And while we're here, I think it's time to get rid of this. Let's take a quick look and see how the electricity actually flows in the system. In the event that we have sun and the solar panels are producing electricity, it goes from the roof to this junction box. And then there are actually three different circuits on the roof. And each one of these has a DC disconnect. One, two, three. From there, they go to the inverter and the DC energy is converted into AC right here. From there, this AC current is now fed all the way to the other side where it goes to an AC disconnect and a submeter. This meter measures how much energy I'm producing in total with the solar tiles. From there, it then goes to the sub panel and starts using the electricity for the house. And if there's anything left over, the gateway to that is that white box on top then decides whether it goes into the batteries or the grid. Let's say we still need to charge batteries. So it goes from the gateway all the way back to additional AC disconnects, and then it's going into the battery. Let's say the battery is charged and we have no sun and we now want to run off grid. Then the energy goes back all the way to the sub panel to support the house. And let's say we're out of battery. The main panel from the grid will also feed additional electricity to the sub panel. So in this box now, we have all the fuses for all the different circuits in the house. Now, when we look at the app, we can actually see what's going on. So now it went to 3.1 at 11.22 a.m. Still charging the power wall to 100%. And then it's going to start feeding into the grid eventually. So right now, 58% of the energy that we needed today has been provided through solar. So that's since midnight, as it was not producing any solar, and then it started producing solar at around 8 a.m. this morning, and 58% has been offset. This is solar production starting at 8 a.m. It powered up, we're up to 3.1 just now. Most of that stuff is fed into the battery. So let's see about the grid. We've been using the grid all night long in the morning. And then at some point, the solar took over. And this is what the house has been using so far. This is what we've been using overnight in terms of minimum electricity. And then in the morning, as people start waking up and start going to the bathroom, taking showers, hair drying, making their coffee, microwave, the energy consumption went up, but it was all covered through 
our solar generation here. So this is what's happening right now with the grid. We're completely off grid and have been since, I don't know, since 10 a.m. Let's see how long we can go. From grid so far for today, we've drawn 6.9 kilowatt hours on average. On a normal day when I'm not charging the car, I'm pulling about 20. So if we look yesterday, I had 20.8. There was briefly some solar action going on, but it was a cloudy day and it was rainy. This is when we turned the system on. This is a normal day. The system wasn't on yet and we pulled 17.9 kilowatt hours on Tuesday for the entire day. On Monday we pulled 20.8, Sunday we pulled 23.7, 22.1, whoops, 41.6. This is where I actually charged my car the last time and then it immediately doubles my energy consumption. And then we're back to 20. So 20 per day, that's 140 kilowatts per week plus an additional 40 for two cars. That's 160 kilowatt hours that we need to produce within a week to be completely energy neutral. System right now is a little too small to do that, but we're not done yet. We're gonna upgrade the system as soon as we go up in the garage. This is the garage and my office is in the back. It's basically just gonna have one slope facing to the south. It's all gonna be active tiles, so it's gonna at least double our system size. Right now we have a 7.8 system, so we're gonna go up to 15. I'll check back once we're at 1 p.m. With the passing of the latest stimulus bill, they actually extended the tax rebate. So if you end up buying a system in the next two years, 26% of that is a straight tax credit rebate on the solar portion as well as the battery. If you're interested in getting yourself a solar roof, feel free to use my referral code because it will give you a hundred bucks off your system. Or if you're thinking about getting a Tesla car, it will also get you 1000 free supercharging miles. Plus, I think we both are eligible for a drawing of a Roadster, a Model Y and some power walls. All right, so the battery is full now. We're done charging the power wall. Whatever is left over is going into the grid. Nice. We're producing energy and we're feeding it back into the grid. And all this is happening while our consumption is going up. So if we're looking back at today so far, we've used up 10.2 kilowatt hours for the home and 8.9 of that was compensated or offset with solar production. All right, it's the end of the day. It is quarter after 4 p.m. Then the next 20 minutes or so, it's gonna be dark. Let's take a look at where we're at with the data for the first real day. So right now it is running off the battery as it's supposed to do. Let's first look at how our house is doing. So this is all the consumption we've had throughout the day. 14.4 kilowatt hours so far. So we're gonna hit our 20 again. Let's see how much solar we produced. 14.6. Now, part of that went into the battery and it's going to be used up now. Let's take a look at how the grid was utilized today. All right, so that was day one, winter day. Looked pretty good. Looks like it's just gonna go even pretty much. It's gonna 80% to 100% be able to sustain the energy needs that we have. In the summer, when the system is really cranking up, then we're gonna be able to just put a ton of energy into the grid. Stay tuned as I keep updating you on how the system is performing and also if it's necessary to clean the solar roof. Thanks so much for watching and keep things sunny.
wanna be riding on my way. Finally woke up with some luck in the buck. I don't give up what someone, someone say. Finally got my friends in the back on my roller. We gon' make it big one day. We gon' make it big, I say. We gon' make it big, just stay in the, stay in the moon. In your eyes when we leave for the night Way too many heartbreaks still on your mind Let the flame burn down for 